again most welcome to the second part of our class, always with John D. Sanzima and Ajan Damasen from RAP, Rwanda Polytechnic, IPRC Kigari. The second part will be concerned with the actual laying of bricks where we shall just perform a task, a screen wall with 1.7 meter of length and six courses height. Uh, first of all, we prepare our materials and the working area. The material which will be needed, just we have bricks here. This is brick band bricks and we shall use the cement mortar here we have a sand and we have a cement from the bag but this is the the gorging box here we have measured in order to reach all to meet our proportionalities where we shall use the mixing ratio one to four i mean four unit of sand and one unit of cement. This is a heap of four units. This is a gorging box full of cement. Then we are going to pour this cement on the top of this heap of sand. Once the cement is poured on, on the heap of the sand, we start with the dry mixing. The dry mixing just without mortar. This is the dry mixing. Then we keep rotating our hip three times. This is time one, first time. The color will be changing as we mix. As we mix the cement, with the sand, the color of the hip is changing. And once you, you see any deleterious material, you remove it. You have changed the, the hip first time, then the second time. The color is changing as you go on mixing. This is the second rotation. You keep the third rotation, which is the last one. When our materials, sand and cement are very mixed, you see the color. Now you prepare your hip to, to make our wet mixing. I mean just by pouring water. Now our hip is ready to receive a quantity of water. You keep go, keeping water inside, water which will go out, will go with a quantity of cement.
no water will ex escape from this heap since water will go with a quantity of cement. You keep mixing, then you make sure that your mixing is, is homogeneous. You see, keeping the same color. Then once you have got a motor, you keep it on your motor pan. You wet your motor pan so that it may not suck the water content. Now the motor is ready. Then we prepare our working area just by pouring. Pouring a quantity of water. Now the brick is 21.5 centimeter of length, 10 centimeter width, and 60 centimeters height. These are the measurement of a full brick to be used. And in order to, to accomplish this masonry work, we may need what we call brick cuts. We may cut a brick so that we may perform our task. In our task, especially we shall need this three-quarter bat. A three-quarter bat is made just by taking this full measurement which is 21 centimeters, and we keep it in our mind the measurement of our joint. For this brick, the joint may not exceed one centimeter. Then you take this 21 centimeter, 21.5 minus one centimeter, then you multiply by three quarter in order to get this one. You see, the full brick, the three quarter will be this one. This one is the half brick, which is called a, a half bat. This is a three quarter. In other types of bonding, we may even need to use this quarter bat and we may even need this queen closer bat. And we remember from the drawing, this is the symbol to represent our half brick, half bat. This is the symbol, this one is the symbol to represent this three quarter bat. This point within this quarter bat symbolize that this is a quarter bat. When we represent the queen closer, we use this symbol. So here, from this calculation, we find that our three quarter bat will be just 15 centimeter. Now, let us start the masonry. We remember our task is just in a cross bond where we start, uh, we start with the header course. We start with the header course, just the, each course starts from one lead to another. This is the one lead, and the, the other side, on the right side, you have another lead. Then we keep the first brick, which is very essential. 
the top horizontality we keep the second brick to the other lead another side Using our straight edge, we, we check if two ends, they are on the same level. So once all two leads are on the same level, as it is checked here on this bubble, then you go on just filling the intermediate bricks. You see now using this string, it will be easy to fill these intermediate, intermediate bricks in the between two leads. Then I keep my intermediate bricks. Remember to use these wet bricks. So once the first course is finished, remember to take a distance, a bit distance, then you look if you have, if you have realized the regular joint. You may even check your regular joint using this finger, assuming that my finger has got one centimeter. So it is good. Then remember, to remove this excess motor so that your workpiece may be very clean and smart. 